do you know that the difference between th this three relationship arrangements is one click in your options? If you know, that's good. Keep the good works. If you don't know, then watch this full video. It's very important for scheduler and planners. We have this example, which um, I think 50 to 90 percent of my colleagues uh, planners, they might not use it before, which is the calculated start to start lag from. Now this one has some secrets there. Let's expose it step by step. First, now this project started 3rd of March, finish 1st of April. We have finished to start between activity one and activity two, and activity one and activity three uh, has no relationship. But activity two and activity three has a start to start relationship. Activity three has finished to start with the end, and activity two and four has finished to start. Activity four and six has start to start relationship, and activity four and activity five has finished to start. Now, calculating, I mean, the default is there. Okay, still, this is the default sitting on Primavera V6. I will just schedule automatically to, to see what's going on there. Okay. And let's say, yes, finish. And apply the schedule the starting date of the project is third and schedule. Now, let's assume that activity two started early because activity one has some obstacles and it can start. So let's say it started and started not 7th of March. It started in the beginning of the project, 3rd of March. Okay. And let's say it finished 80%. Okay. And by by 6 of March this is the update now amazing yeah? it split it split activity and the start to start relationship between 2 and 3 is not accepted it has only start to start relationship with zero lag but now it's not accepting the zero lag right now for some of you if you don't know if you go to the options again now we have an option there which is retain logic let me just move this down in retain logic and when you are choosing early start for the calculated start to start from, uh, start lag from, and retain logic, it will assume that activity one and activity three has a finish to start relationship, even if they don't have a relationship. Okay, now imagine a complicated schedule which have a lot of relationships there, and this one has a start to start with this, and it has a driver of many relationships here finished to start to this one. It will become very complicated, really. Yeah? So let's go back. And let's show progress override. We know all progress override. Everything will change, right? Schedule, OK? And everything will be schedule override. However, we don't, we don't want that. We need this only for this one to uh, to be uh, progress override, we don't we don't want everything to be progress override, right? Good. Now this is what is important here, and this is the secret. We go back and keep retain logic, but choose actual start and go yes and schedule. Now everything remain as it is, okay, except the start to start relationship. It show it that it can start anytime now because it's a zero lag. Okay, it can start anytime from the progress date. Okay, now if this start to start is a true and is not linked to this activity, definitely we can start. But 
think it should wait until this finish and it's not the same as this one then we should have a relationship between them as finished the star putting them but put no relationship between them will be wrong right but if this can start too we should start it it allow us to start it so this is how we deal about start to start lags actual start and retain logic okay because using progress override will make progress override for everything but for start to start lags we can use actual start so the relationship the relationship will be uh, will be only impacted between the start to start relationship however we are keeping everything else as the same see this one here still waiting for this one which is normal very normal so that was one of the secrets of start to start lags calculations i hope you uh, uh, you get benefit out of it uh, for the one who knows it i hope you share that with our friends and explain it and for the one who doesn't uh, know that before please follow up uh, follow us subscribe like share and join our membership and let me explain to you uh, the benefits of the membership if you go to the channel you will see here join and you see level one level two level three and secret and tips videos and very cheap prices i believe so because it's a special training again for 200 per month for one to one wow that's amazing training membership for hours for 500 that's very good uh, i think what you will get in everyone is access to new videos and chat and documents when mentioned in the videos uh, most of the videos as i mentioned uh, it's now demonstrated uh, for membership for non-membership it's just talking in general and mentioning the general knowledge uh, this is members this is members this is members this is members so we have many uh, maybe you will not see them in the search result because it's membership only because i said i did uh, lag and didn't show anything or everything actually as as needed so please uh, join the membership it's very small fees by the way you can cancel any any time you might just come in for one month pay the minimum fees and uh, watch everything you want like for example you join for one and a half dollar australian dollar this is about one american dollar only and then one american dollar per month you watch everything you want and you cancel it after that or you might keep supporting us and keep the one dollar membership which is nothing i think and supporting us to publish more and more and more with the new ideas like this video Thank you very much for watching and your support. I appreciate it a lot. Have a good day. Thank you.